Welcome back. Olawale Shola joins us now on the program. Olawale, good morning. Good to have you. Good morning, Cecilia. Good mm. to be back in the studio again. It's great to have you. I mean, yeah. we'll just <laughs> hop straight to the chase. Uh, we're not wasting time today. Uh, Get Up World released our 23-man uh, list uh, for the African qualifier against uh, South Africa. That's uh, on June the 10th. Um, yeah. uh, that list has uh, generated uh, quite a lot of... Um, um, do I use uh, controversy? controversy yeah. yeah. Okay, but let's just run through the list before we get your reactions. Okay. Goalkeepers, um, no surprises here at all. Daniel Akwe, Ike Chikwezenwa, uh, the lad from uh, um, FC Fanny FC Valley, Valley, home base, first. and uh, Dele Alan Paso. Uh, for the defenders, Elderson Echejile, uh, Ed, Ed Lines and uh, that particular position. You also have um, William Trust Ekong, you have uh, Chidoze Awazin, uh, who you have Kenneth Omero, that's, that's interesting. Uh, you also have um, Abdu. No, it's Maruf, Maruf Yusuf. Yeah, Yusuf. Maruf that's Yusuf. the guy. That's the that's the guy. He's from unknown, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah unknown to a lot of Nigerians before yesterday. We'll talk more about him uh, later on on the show, uh, where he plays, for his age and um, uh, his position and all that. Let's move on from the defenders now and let's talk about the midfielders. Uh, Ganyo Nazi, uh, Wilfred Indidi, Mikel Agu, who plays for Vitoria Setubal uh, in Portugal. I uh, also have John Ogu from um, Israel, oh, Apuel, uh, Besheva, and uh, Ogene Karu Etebo. Uh, looking likely that he might actually move from Portugal uh, to mainstream Europe. Yeah, yeah this offseason. And uh, you also have um, Al Arsene Ibrahim. Very he made it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He made it. Aqua United. Aqua United. Aqua United. Al Ibrahim. He made it. Taking a look at the forwards, you have Ahmed Musa, Kalechi Hienacho, Olairawan Jukayode, Henry Oyekuru, Alex Iwobi, Victor Osime, and Simon Moses. These are the forwards you have here. But then the and player conspicuously missing. missing. Of course, Victor Moses expectedly. I okay. uh, expected that. Of course, the guys from <laughs> China, China, the they base. are also uh, missing. I'm, I'm not surprised about Victor Moses because the story is that he needs to have a surgery in his toe and yeah, all that. Yeah, it sure. will be out for a long time. And the story I'm also hearing now, oh. it's like he might even miss the game against Cameroon. That's much later in the year. But then let's focus on this one against South Africa. I mean, you saw the list now. Yes. The players are there. I mean, the one that people don't really know is the defender from uh, Zamalek of Egypt. Egypt. He's 24 years old. When you Google the name at first, you see a Burkina Bay, but then there is also a Nigerian. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the confusion came in yeah. a little bit. Uh, but going by the name, mm. it's um, Maruf Yusuf. Mm. If we we'll just go check the name, it doesn't sound Nigerian. Even my thoughts was as, as the same as yours. When I saw it, I thought it was it, so some of those um, yeah, you uh, saw, South African you saw, side. You but um, no, the spelling of the Yusuf. Spelling, yeah, the spelling, yeah. Mm, Y-O-U-S-E-F. Yeah, well, -E 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 no, yeah. Yusuf here. I want you to be in the Ghana Jays. Why are you S U F? Yeah, perhaps. Not, but, okay, let's just that's his profile there, right there. Uh, his name is uh, Maruf Yusuf, like you said. So perhaps because he plays in Egypt now, he decided to modify that son name because actually, uh, really, his birth name is Yusuf. Is Y U S S U F. So he plays for Zamalek SC uh, in Egypt. He's been in the team since July 1, 2017. His main position is a central midfield, and uh, he plays uh, is, is a left uh, footer. And um, we were sorry that he's actually a very uh, versatile uh, player. Tony Bito is on the line now. Yep. Perhaps we can get more uh, clarifications on 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 yeah, Yusuf and some players that are missing. Yeah, definitely. Uh, good morning to you. Welcome to the program. Thank you so much. Yeah, good to have you. Now, we've seen the list uh, uh, for the game against South Africa. Some players are there, some are not there. You talked about the fact that some players will be dropped while others will be added. Now, looking at this Yusuf guy, because that's the uh, talking point right now, people are saying that they've not really seen him play. I watched some of his clips. He's good with his feet. But why did the coach have to invite a player that wasn't part, that would not be part of the friendly games, the, 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 the one they're going to play today, and of course the one they played against Kosika, he wasn't part of it at all. Yeah, I, I, I've explained this a number of times. Uh, there are some players who are still busy with their clubs. I've, I've explained that um, the friendlies we are playing here in France, the ones we played against Kosika and the ones we are playing Togo, are not on Twitter days. Clubs are still busy. The clubs are still busy. From this at the same time, so the clubs are not obliged to release a player for games like this. Um, the players in Turkey, particularly, are still busy. They still have games to play. 
um, the guy in uh, in in, in uh, South Africa just got concluded last weekend, and so it, it's uh, it's going to happen that some players will be released by their clubs because they need a full arm because those families are just um, um, out of the FIFA window. They are just arrangements by the police of the teams to get their players not be released. For Tungu, for example. So the other buyer will not be available because his, his club played a cup game yesterday in Turkey. So these things happen. Uh, so you have to make the available available to you. You're, you're, okay, that's fine, Tony. Uh, let's talk about uh, Victor Moses now. Um, he hasn't made the list, and there's been uh, all sorts of reports out there uh, that he is injured at the moment and will be going for surgery. Was it through a uh, situation? There's a difference between a player being injured and, and a player needing surgery. Let me clarify that very quickly. Victor Moses needs surgery. Um, he had to play some of the games of the best computer training, particularly towards the end of the season, they have to play with a, with a troublesome tool that is play with pain pillar. And so we have to be considerate for the future of the player, uh, for his claims in his club, to allow him to do surgery early on during the day, so that the period of the season period will be good for recovery for him before pre season starts at his club. Okay. And then we can also have the ability to work in good shape the work of qualifiers. So oh. I, I think it's a, it's a good time for him to quickly do whatever surgery he needs to do, mm. start the recovery process completely, be back in shape before the season starts, and then it can be available for both clubs and country. I think it's a 50 50, a win win situation mm. for, for both clubs and country. Okay. Uh, so. That's essentially why um, we have to make a sacrifice to let him out of this game to think that the are having bad. Uh, for the FIFA World Cup qualifier. In that sense, there are a lot of players here in the team. We will now have a chance to set it up and give us a lot of options. 